Hello! Today we're going to do a quick video continuing on our series with 10 millimeter range ammunition. We're going to shoot some Sig Sauer and we're going to shoot some MagTuck. Let's get going! So let's just review the guns that we have for testing today. If you haven't been watching some of my other range, 10 millimeter range ammunition videos, We'll take a look at what, what the guns that we are looking at today. So we have the six inch Tanfolio. I'll put a link up in the description where I was trying to get the optic mounted on this. I do have a new optic mount from CNH Precision, a new plate. Hopefully this will stay on and we'll do some testing with that. It's a really cool gun, single action only, six inch barrel. Then I also, going next down the line, we have my six hour Emperor Scorpion. Love this gun too. It's a five inch barrel. And then finally we have the Springfield XDM Elite 3.8 inch. And that's also another fun one and I love shooting it. So we're gonna shoot out of these different barrel lengths, the MagTech 180 grain versus the Six Hour 180 grain. At the end of this, we'll do a comparison with the other ammunitions, range ammunition that I've shot. So let's get going. First up, I've got the 3.8 inch barrel for, from the Springfield XDM Elite. And we'll shoot five rounds. I've got the Labrador set up. A target down range at about 17 yards. Let's go. 1150. 1195. 1149. 1179. All right. Let's take a look at what that group came up in total. So our average, we had an average of 1172, a high of 1195, and a low of 1149 with a standard deviation of 21.8 and an extreme spread of 46. Next up, let's go to the Emperor Scorpion. Okay, we have the Emperor Scorpion 5-inch with the MagTech. 1221. 1236, 1220, 1234, 1214. And so for the averages of that, we'll pull up the lab radar again. <clears throat> the average for that was 1225, a high of 1235, a low of 1214, extreme spread of 22, and a standard deviation of 9.4. All right, we'll create a new group. And we will test the Tangfolio, six inch, single action only. Let's hope that the optic does not brain me and holds on. I'll be going a little bit slow here to make sure that we aren't loosening up or anything. 1202. 1274. 1242, didn't pick that one up, 1260, and I'm going to add one more. Okay, we'll add one more to complete that group, 1247, and the optic is staying on, yay. All right, for our add up for the tank folio six inch, we had an average of 1244, high of 1274, low of 1202, extreme spread of 72 and standard deviation of 24.2. That's not bad ammunition. Next up, we'll go to the SIG. Okay, so first up, we've got this six hour range ammunition. It's full metal jacket, 180 grain. And we've got the lab radar set up, almost set up. Got to hit two more buttons, two more button presses. And we will test it out of the 3.8 inch Springfield. 1235. 1246. 1175. 1239. And 1221. All right, and so for the average for the 3.8 inch, we had an average of 1223, a high of 1246, 
and a low of 11.75, extreme spread of 71. There was one round that was really just off on that. It brought the whole average down because it's only five shots, but hey, ammo's expensive these days. The standard deviation of 28.3. Next up, let's go to the Emperor Scorpion. We'll just create a new group. Okay, and now the five inch, this is the six hour ammunition with the five inch barrel, which is also a six hour. Twelve twelve. Twelve seventy six. Thirteen sixteen. Thirteen hundred. And twelve sixty eight. Got a pretty big spread there. All right, so we had an average of 1274. We had a high of 1316, the low of 1212. That's an extreme spread of 104, and a standard deviation of 39.8. Okay, let's move on to the six inch. 1308. 1317. 1351, 1366, and 1309. So the average with the 6-inch barrel was 1330, high of 1366, a low of 1308, a state extreme spread of 58, and standard deviation of 26.6, and we had five shots. So let's bring these all to the add-up, and we will take a look in our charts and talk about all the things that I'll add it together. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to show two charts. The first chart shows just the comparison of the two different ammunitions, and we have our three different barrel lengths, and we can see how the ammunition scales up with each different powder, and I think it is of interest that the Sig Sauer scales up very differently than the MagTech ammunition. What do I mean by scales up? Meaning from 3.8 inch to the 6.0 inch on the Sig Sauer ammunition went over 100 feet per second larger. And with the MagTech ammunition, it didn't quite, it was more about 80 feet per second. So I think that's interesting to note. And also, uh, if you also look at the energy foot pounds, it went up more than 100 energy foot pounds. So I think that that's, you know, just partly learning what the ammunition is. So shooting a, a, a shorter barrel with the MagTech ammunition doesn't make as big of a difference as shooting a longer barrel on some of this other ammunition. Also, of course, what you're quick to notice is that the Sig Sauer is a lot more powerful than the MagTech. And I highlighted the five inch barrel. If you'll recall, the SAMI spec for the 10 millimeter round is a 200 grain projectile traveling at 1,200 feet per second with an energy foot-pounds that equals about 639. This Sig Sauer ammunition is full SAMI spec ammunition. It's pretty actually hard to find, but even this FMJ ammunition is full SAMI spec ammunition. So that's good to know. But the MagTech isn't bad. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's put it into context and look at the MagTech and the Sig Sauer with respect to other what I would consider range ammunition options that are out there. Okay, so putting the MagTech and the SIG Sauer ammunition into context with the other range ammunition that I've sh shot and with the Underwood 200 grain hard cast ammunition, which is the first round listed. So what I consider sort of one of the premier ammunition and fully specced ammu two, uh, 10 millimeter ammunitions that you can find out there, which, which is reaching close to 700 energy foot pounds. But if you look at where our MagTech and our Sig Sauer fit, they fit in very nicely. In fact, the, both of them fit near the top of the scale, with the Sig actually being at the top of our range ammunition, and the MagTech sitting around maybe third place right behind AAC. So that brings up another good point. I mentioned this before. The Sig Sauer, the MagTech, they're kind of actually expensive rounds. They're not really cheap rounds for quote-unquote, range ammunition. Range ammunition should be something that you feel comfortable shooting, and it gives you the exact same feeling as your gun does when you're shooting the full-powered loads. At least that's my opinion of it. 
at least a lot of the times you're going to be shooting, you're going to want to be practicing with your fault power loads. Other times you're going to want to be plinking, and so getting cheaper and less powerful rounds is just fine. But I think this AAC ammunition may be one of the better ones to get. It's pretty high up on the full power, and it can be had for really cheap dollars. That's my opinion. I don't know what your opinion is. Please put it in the comments below. Please tell me what you think about this video. If there's other range ammunition you'd like me to take a look at, we can take a look at it in the future. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.